Indians will have to pay for the COVID-19 treatment out of pocket, whether they are in public or private hospitals. The Ministry of Health has announced that NHF will not foot the bills for COVID-19 patients as it is not financially viable for the National Hospital Insurance Fund, that NHIF, to cover the bills which are expensive as the numbers of infections and those in need of medical services increase amid resurgence of the virus. Our very own El Faslagad now reports on why the move to pose a heavy burden for Kenyans. Take a look. As the second wave of the pandemic continues to stretch the available health facilities to the limit, Kenyans are now staring at a greater burden of meeting the cost of COVID-19 treatment on their own. You are very clear and you told us that uh, you will incorporate this, this uh, the COVID-19 treatment will be incorporated in the UHC scheme and uh, NHIF. Yeah, we have a statement signed by you and that's why, that's why now when uh, NHIF stops uh, covering, we, we, we get questions coming up. Because even the government is saying they don't have enough money, so where, uh, what, what will we do as a country to be able to make sure that uh, our people get uh, uh, health services, especially on the COVID-19? They are a gazillion of them. So we are having to rely... Health Cabinet Secretary Mtai Kagwe and NHIF boss Peter Kamunya told the Senate Health Committee that it is expensive and unsustainable for the national insurer to cater for COVID-19 related treatment. In a statement, Kagwe says the cost of financing COVID-19 testing and treatment is not viable as it was not envisaged in the current NHIF premium competition and existing benefits package. A challenging situation. Uh, we do not see an exact uh, solution in sight. We have to play, as, uh, to play it as it comes and, it's, and basically allocate more money in the budget for purposes of caring for those who do not have, um, who are not able uh, to, to care uh, for, for, for themselves. The CS, however, insists that health authorities step in where there is mass targeted testing and that they do write off treatment cost for Kenyans of limited means and able to foot COVID-19 related bills. NHIF is structured in a manner that beneficiaries are covered for hospital beds, surgical procedures and ICU facilities, but is now under criticism for failing to address the emerging and vital need of complications arising from the novel coronavirus. Kenya Medical Association President Dr. Wera Onyino has called out the national insurer saying it is the role of government to address any medical needs of its people using NHIF as the vehicle. If the status quo remains, it means that many Kenyans will struggle to treat and manage COVID-19. The health years have said the presence of the virus is projected to be felt for the next four years, a time frame the Ministry of Health considers an emergency. Elfas Lagat, Citizen TV, Nairobi.